Welcome back, Unity users. It's James, back with another 2D platforming special request. This one comes from a user named Stollerman, or I'll just read it to you. Could you make a tutorial on how to have ambient sounds not stop while switching to other scenes? I have this problem when I'm going from my main menu to my level selection. This does not directly apply only to 2D games. It actually applies to all games. Background music is a big thing in lots of games. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's uh, let's get started here. I have an empty game object floating in space with an audio source attached. Okay, this is going to become a prefab that we create called music. Okay, so I've gone to game object create empty and then gone to component audio audio source and then I grab this object and I drag it into my prefabs and. For some odd reason, it got renamed. I don't know why. Anyway, music one will be the object we're using. And then on our main camera, we're going to attach a script as well. And I will explain to you why that has to be done, okay? In the Unity game system, there are separate scenes. We have two scenes, a tutorial one scene and a tutorial scene two. The two different levels of our game, where Stallerman has a menu for level selection and the actual level itself. Okay, so let's get into the code that's going to make this happen. We have our prefab all set up, except we need it to go from one scene to the next. And to do that, we're going to use a piece of code Unity has called object dot do not or don't destroy on load. Sorry, <clears throat> don't destroy on load. It makes the object target not be destroyed automatically when loading a new scene. So that sounds pretty much like what we need. So in the music here, I've got it set to loop and play on awake. This is the object we're going to move. So I've prepared a script called background music. There are no variables to it. I will show you what that looks like right now. And there it is. Uh, let me zoom in so you can read it. Function start, don't destroy this game object when we load a new scene. It's that easy. However, there is a little trick to this. This scene, currently has one of these. So when we jump to scene two, it will go with us. When we come back to scene one, it will create an extra one, okay? And I can show you what I mean by that right now. Let me just uh, go into my view here and grab the secret door and move it over by my player. And let me just get rid of Mr. Bad Guy here, the goblin. So we'll move the door over. Okay, and we've got our music plane, or our music prefab right here. Let's just go ahead and save that into our prefab. And save our scene, and we'll play the game. And you'll see in the window down here, apparently Unity froze on me there. Okay, so we've got our guy, and when we come over to the doorway and we press the up key, he jumps to scene two. But the music is still playing in the background, which is exactly what Stallman wants. However, there is a problem with this. Let me just jump through my portals here. Oh, I died. Let me try that again. There we go. When I jump back to scene one, now there's two background music objects. You can see them right here. We only want one. Okay, so to do this, what we're going to do is take our music game object and delete it. That's right, we deleted it because we have it saved in a prefab. So on the main camera, we're going to attach a script. And what that script is going to do is check if there's a music object already in existence. And if there isn't, it's going to create one. If there is, then it's not going to create one. That way we will only ever have one. There's one more thing we need to do to the music object before we start that script though. So we go to music one and we need to tag it as game controller. Okay. So in our script, which I've made, music generator, pull this out. So we have our var music game object. That's basically our prefab. So it knows what to create. And then when the game starts or the scene starts, it's going to say, grab the game object with the tag game controller, which we just set up on our music object. If there is no game object, which we've stored in the variable G, if there is no music game object, create one. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. And actually, we don't need the update, so we can delete that. Okay, so this is the script we'll attach to our camera. We've got a main camera, and in the scripts, 
and music generator. And it wants to know what music object to create, so we go into our prefabs and grab our music one object and drop it in there. Okay, so when the scene starts, it's going to say, is there a game object named game controller? No, there isn't. So it's going to create one for us, and then the background music will start because we have it set to start when it when it's created and to continue looping. When we jump to the new scene, the music object will go with us. When we jump back into scene one, let me just go to scene two right now. When we're in scene two here, I'm just going to move this bad guy out of the way. Put this door a little closer to our player. And uh, I should have a portal. I'll move that out of the way here. Okay, so when we go through this door, we're going to go back to scene one. And what's going to happen is in scene one, it's going to check for that music object, which will still exist. It's going to say, is there a game controller object out there? In which case, it will find one, and then it won't create a duplicate, okay? So let's go ahead and play our game here. And you see our Music 1 clone appears, and it's got Game Controller for a tag. And when I push my guy over in the doorway here and press up, we go to Scene 2, and the background music is still playing, and all is well. You can see our Music 1 clone stayed with us. And when we go back to Scene 1, you'll see that there's only ever one here. And you see, you still only have one. So regardless of your scenes, your music will stay with you, whether it's menus or whatever. All is good. All right, so I hope that solves Stallerman's problem in transferring music from one scene to the next. And um, thanks for watching.